Yes, so my people, man. <laughs> oh man, I I've been waiting for this one, man. I've been waiting for this one because I know that this would come out. You know, I could tell that this was something in the making. You know, um, before we get into this, I want to say all praises to the triune God, the God who is above all gods, the God who give us wisdom to decipher things and to make sense of sensible things and to make nonsense of things that are nonsense. And Islam is nothing but pure nonsense. So sometimes um, in the past, I think it was early this year, Hutman Hibin Farouk came out and said that someone stabbed him. So the, this Muslim preacher, Dawah preacher, came out and he said someone stabbed him. The old video of the stabbing, he, he, he make up the whole story of the stabbing. In all us Christians, we actually have the idea, because many of my videos I will show you will show you where I believe that this man was making up this story. And today it is out in the light that this man have made up this story. <laughs> this man, Hutman Ibn Farouk, make up this story. Can you imagine? You are a foreigner living in, 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 in the United States. And you come into a, a strange country and you are actually selling the citizen of this country as if these citizens of this country are how to get Muslims, how to, uh, to stab Muslim and to destroy Muslims life. Do you see how wicked and dangerous this uh, pathetic clown is? You know, um, I see the video and as I say, I don't upload videos. You know, I will, I, I like to give my, my, my take on a video that I see. So today, Jai Apologetics, I always tell you guys, go over, subscribe to this guy's channel because this guy is working and, and God is using this guy. Because we always want to see if um, Uthman Fibin Farouk will be revealed as the liar that we, we, we know he is. And throughout the years, we see where he's been revealed over and over and over as a pathetic liar. And today, we see more information that this guy have no truth in him. His father is the devil. Islam is a lying religion. And we are seeing it out in the public that one of their major representatives in the West is selling himself over and over and over and over again as a liar. But I think this is the, the, the straw that breaks the camel back. And as they, they you talk about camel, we talk about camel because Muhammad loved to drink camel urine. And that was the best medicine for the people of his time. <laughs> so what we have here for you people who haven't seen this, here's a video from Jai Apologetics. Where, hello, my brother from Ethiopia. How are you, man? Jai Apologetics, you know, reveal that Uthman is nothing but a stupid, headless clown and continue to lie to the people. All these Dawa preachers, all of them are liars. And when you look at the video, you will see two other pathetic clowns in this video speaking out because... These Muslims believe the stupidity that they preach. These Dawa donkeys, they believe the stupidity, stupidity that they preach. And we'll show you in this video, I'm about to show how wicked and vile these people are. So here we go. So um, one video is from DCCI Ministry, the same video. And um, also we have Brother Jai. So uh, let me show you guys. So it's 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 big news, man. <laughs> it is big news. So let me show you the stupidity of this clown called Uthman Ibn Farouk, man. The nonsense of this stupid donkey. So this is from DCCI Ministry, where it says, police confirm no record of Uthman Ibn Farouk stabbing 
exposed. I've been saying this, that if I was a police living in the area of Balboa Park in San Diego, I would actually take this up on myself to reveal this dumb donkey. And so that's one video here. Then we have our brother, Jai Apologetics. Jai Apologetics that actually confirmed the same thing. So we have Jai here, the same video. So this is from Jai Apologetics. I, I tell you guys, go over, subscribe to this brother's channel because this brother is doing work for the kingdom of God Almighty. So police confirm no record of Uthman Ibn Farouk stabbing exposed. So this clown has been exposed. So ladies and gentlemen, take out the popcorn for the people who haven't watched this show yet. This is the premiere. Because <laughs> I told you this guy is a Hollywood actor. I've been telling you guys for years when I see this guy, man, this guy is a Hollywood actor. Put on a show. And he have no love for God Almighty. He have no love for the truth. This guy, to be real with you, I believe in my own, you know, maybe judging this guy. But I believe this guy have no lot and part with God. I believe that he sell his soul to the devil, this idiot. You know, I believe this idiot sell his soul to the devil. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Their experiences... That you go through oh wow he should he deserve an asker for this <laughs> oh man why can't Hollywood pick up this donkey why don't Hollywood pay this donkey for 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 all this hard work that he's going through their experiences that you go through you can't undo mm. you're right you can't undo <laughs> the wow. picture that circulated on twitter showing that he had been stabbed if you've used fake blood it doesn't darken the way normal blood does blood darkens and it's spread on your skin it, it should be pretty dark he took a knife and he tried to cut me we have your weapon do you hear what he said there he took a knife and he tried to cut me he actually I revealed to us before that he was not stopped because if somebody tried to do something, that means he, he did not, uh, he was not successful. If I try to to make a cake, the, the, was the cake successful? Did I try to, uh, I try to to kill the goat. Did I kill the goat? <laughs> That's been given to the police. The file a report has already been filed. Do you guys see that? Look at that. One more time. Just pause it for you guys to marinate in it. Regarding an arrest, a person would not be arrested for a stabbing which was not reported. Document in a crime case. I hope this helped. And there is the name of the lieutenant. Public Information Officer, San Diego Police. Do you see that? If someone have been stabbed and reported it to San Diego police, there would be a San Diego crime case. My understanding is there is no crime case. What a lying bastard. But listen to what he's going to say. The detectives are on the case. The detectives are on the case, but there is no crime case. What a lying, worthless bastard. <laughs> oh, man. All of these clowns are liars, man. All of these clowns. I saw Mohammed Ijab trying to convince Gordon Peterson to become a Muslim. Does Gordon Peterson want to be a part of this charade? Is God Peter a clown that he want to be a part of this circus?
We had an incident today. Here is the nurse mate's building. I talked to the attendant that's working inside the gas station at this moment. She did say that there was no reports made and she had not heard anything about anybody being stabbed. Did a Muslim preacher in San Diego stage a hate crime against himself? Wow. <laughs> Do you see how evil this bastard is? People like this are not supposed to be living in our community. Innocent people go to jail all the time. When idiots like this live in your community, these are dangerous idiots, man. You come to the United States. I am in the United States. And there's a reason why I'm here. The reason is not to get myself into trouble or get someone into trouble. I come here to better myself because this is, compared to my country, beautiful country, but this is a better, to me, is a better country to live in. Why? Because I can do things that I could not do back home. I've seen the world since I've been here in the United States. The amount of places I've traveled to, the things that I, I'm able to do, I could never do it back home in my country. And this clown get the opportunity to be in a, in, 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 in a wonderful place as the United States of America. And what the clown do? Come over here lying against the citizens of America, staging stuff to make it look like Americans are over here trying to attack Muslims. When these bastards are the one over here attacking people. Look at the, the Boston Marathon bombing. Look at 9-11. Look at all these things that you see. Look at uh, 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 um, uh, Salman Rushdie. Look at all these stuff. And this idiot wants to play victim, so he staged something. What a, you know? Staged something. If this clown was stabbed, I'm telling you, this clown would have shown that he was stabbed already. But if you notice, you don't hear nothing more from the stabbing case. Nothing more from the stabbing case. Just look at him, man. The devil in the making, man. The devil in the making. All these Dawa donkeys, from Mohammed Ijab to Ali Dawa, all these Dawa donkeys are, are devil worshippers. These people, they come out, they're unable to debate with us academically. And they have no... Donkey, who is unable to debate with you academically? <laughs> the person the person who stage, you stage, the, the, the guy look like some homeless guy you give up some money. San Diego is full of, full of homeless people. I've been there before. <laughs> that a lot of homeless people there. All these area got homeless people. You could just pay them a little uh, uh, um, dough do there, a little dough here, and and, and um and you um and you could uh get them to do whatever you want them to do. <laughs> what a clown! Answer. So what do they do? They turn to this type of abuse, terrorism, and violence. Wow. Wow. So you see what he did? He staged something against himself and then he's calling Americans terrorists and, uh, uh, you know, violent terrorists. Literally, that's what he's saying. An email from the police department reads as follows. No uh, um, The San Diego police department has no response so what they said thank you for your message after diligent search using the location and amended date of march 23rd 2022 provided the san diego police department has no responsive record wow this clown don't know. This is America. We are not talking about the Mideast 
or, or some place in Jamaica or Africa. Even in Jamaica, there's record. <laughs> you can't get away doing these things. Everything here is public record. All you got to do is go in and pay a fine. Pay a little thing and they search for the record for you. I've, I've been there. I've done these things before. Pay, <laughs> pay a little thing and they search for the record for you. Pay some money, they search for the record. And sometimes you don't even require money. Sometimes it don't even require a nickel, a nickel or a dime, and they and they will find out this information. But because the clown, his brain is in the dark ages, like his stupid prophet, uh, um, the semen covered bastard from the seventh century, lying bastard. This guy believed that he could get away with this stuff because he's living in the world of the donkey prophet. That, that that he he he, he call um prophet muhammad what what he says <laughs> peace be upon him <laughs> living in that dark ages that he cannot his brain would not tell him hey if i do this they could do this and they could do that no his brain is not equipped for this but oh they come out here and they can't um reason with us in debate donkey you are not debating anybody the people are the real people who you debate reveal you david would reveal you anthony rogers reveal you god logic reveal you anthony um the guy in the park reveal you all these people reveal you what, what's the guy called m Mas Masaya? Is that what his name? Reveal you. All the, 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 the credible people that you, you debate, they all reveal you. Look how many times they reveal you as a liar. Look how many times. And even you revealing your own dumb self. When I first heard this news. Oh, wow. Here comes the donkey. <coughs> Holly donkey. <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard this news, I thought it was a fairy tale. I wouldn't say I prophesied it. What? He prophesied it like Prophet Muhammad. Do you see? <laughs> what a beautiful Muslim. Man. I want <coughs> When I first heard this news, I wouldn't say I prophesied it. Is it winter? Why you got a fire burning? <laughs> you just stage it. This guy is also a Hollywood clown, man. <laughs> I want to say I prophesied it just like Mark Muhammad prophesied that he is a prophet. <laughs> Muhammad claim he is a prophet. You guys are living in a, in, in a fairy tale world. But I knew it was coming. It was wow. He knew it was coming. Wow. Ali Dawa, the last and final prophet of Allah Sapalatala. <laughs> Again, makes perfect sense why Allah, when well, Islam applies capital punishment to these individuals. Because they. Wow. So Allah, now he want to kill somebody for a stage show. Do you see the stupidity of this donkey? It's just like the stupidity of his prophet. Do you remember when the, 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 the man stabbed his, his, his slave mother, the, the, his slave wife, uh, the, um, into the, the, the stomach and come to Muhammad? And Muhammad say no retaliation, even though there was no evidence that this lady was, was doing what this, the, the slave master claimed that the lady was doing. This is the same idiot ready to apply capital punish. Capital punishment for a stage show. Do you see that Muslims, in a, in a Muslim world, nobody is safe in a Muslim world. They could lie on you and, and you die, just like they're doing in Pakistan. Lying on Christians and lying on other people, and people end up getting killed. Because do you see how this idiotic donkey <laughs> decided, oh, the capital punishment for something that he can't prove. 
The first thing come to his dumb head is capital punishment. <laughs> what a stupid donkey, man. Can't... <laughs> man, somebody need to go to the, the, the supermarket and buy this idiot a pig's brain. Because his brain is not good. So somebody need to go to the supermarket and get a, a, a pig's brain and give to this idiot because uh, this idiot have no brain at all. They would not leave the believers alone. And then they call us terrorists. They call us names. But these <laughs> You're a terrorist of your own self, you dumb donkey. They're the ones that initiate. Watch this. No report about the stabbing was ever filed and that no arrests have been made. But the idiot will say that there is an arrest made. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it says the next day Uthman, Uthman Islamic non-profit organization One Message Foundation posted the video of the encounter that he had taken on his phone and on its YouTube channel the video shows a white male in a baseball cap and a uh, disposable <laughs> face mask aggressively approaching Uthman car and shouting at him. <laughs> so the police only got these uh, information, but no filing. But you hear what the dumb donkey says. The surprise that I haven't told anybody is, uh, Alhamdulillah, he's been arrested. Wow. <laughs> Look, Hootman is just like his prophet, man. The genie, the genie, <laughs> living in a genie world. N nothing is real in the life of this idiotic clown. <laughs> the shake who cried wolf. <laughs> nothing is real in the life of this dumb, idiotic donkey. <laughs> Fibin, the top most wanted in Tikialis. <laughs> so, yeah, Islam need four witnesses for rape, but slander the prophet. Do you see what this guy say, man? This makes so much sense. Islam need four witnesses for rape, which is true. The Adit says that. But slandering the prophet and they make Sandy riot without any witness. That's true. And Muhammad actually killed that. That uh, Muhammad actually let that um, guy go free who killed his um, slave mother, as they, as they call her, while claiming she was slandering him, but no proof that she was slandering him. The, the four witness is no, not, not needed. Do you see how stupid Islam is? <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed all in Christ. Thank you, brother. You be blessed too. Thank you, sister, our brother. Even though you have a man here, you might, you might not be a man. Because people put their husbands. Look. <laughs> Ali. What is Don, a fake prophet like his, like moon split. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity of Islam? Islam is for donkeys, man. And when I say this, I don't want to attack the regular Muslim because they don't know what's going on. They are just listen to the 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 the, the, the um imam and the sheikh, but they don't know what we know. That. Islam is for liar. The message, the Messiah says, and this is how critical this thing is. That what the Messiah says: you are of your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning, and there is no truth in him. When he speak, he speak in his native language. Do you see this? Islam is from the devil. The devil. The devil, you could have seen 
Later, I have a video coming later that would reveal some of the things. The Muslim will ask the question, and you will see um, how this brother answered the question straight up. Muslim asked some question like, how can um, Islam be telling you to fight against the devil and still be of the devil? You know? <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> Ibn Fibin is a liar. <laughs> Man, do you see how stupid this re religion is? I don't speak bad language, my friend. What I do, I speak the way that Jesus Christ would speak. What did Jesus call them? Wicked, the wicked people, what did Jesus call them? snakes vipers and fool that's the same way i speak i follow the messiah <laughs> you don't these kind of things you don't sugarcoat it you don't sugarcoat these kind of things a liar you don't sugarcoat a liar you don't you don't make a liar feel mushy in the stomach just like a racist you don't sugarcoat racism those kind of stuff you you come at it with full force It's nice to record them. <laughs> he got busted by CP when Farouk called CP anonymously. I don't know if he was the one who called CP. It might be somebody else. <laughs> um, Farouk I, I've been reported and busted for committing a crime against the Adid created a fake foot. <laughs> also, a fake assault. He is a fabricator, a deceiver. But these Muslims will never see this. These donkeys will never see this. And when I say donkeys, I'm not talking about the regular person at his home taking care of his business. I am talking about the Muslims who are supporting him. Do you see? Because what? This religion is the religion of a lie, man. This religion is the religion of lie. Show his scars. <laughs> I like this one, Robert. Wouldn't it be easier for, for him to show his scars? He, he, he maybe, guess what he gonna do? He, today, he might cut himself and then six, seven, eight months later when he's ill, he showed the scar. <laughs> Don't don't underestimate this donkey, man. <laughs> don't underestimate this donkey. Don't underestimate this donkey. This donkey might sit down, all his fat his fat roll, <laughs> all his donut roll, and say, and tell his wife and bite and put something in his mouth and give his wife a razor and say, "Cut me, baby. <laughs> Cut me real good." <laughs> Then the wife said, baby, I don't know. I might cut your intestine. I don't want to cut your, your entrails. <laughs> he, said, he said, woman, don't let the angels curse you tonight. Cut me as I say. <laughs> so the wife cut him. And, and then they, they, they um, let it heal. And then two months later, Two, two to three months later, when it's better and have a good scar, here come Hootman and <laughs> showing his scar. Hootman is a liar, man. <laughs> what a beautiful man. Oh, man. That's the kind of man you, the women need to introduce to their parents. Take home and say, Hi, mom. This is Hootman Ibn Farouk. <laughs> His wife must be ashamed of his butt. <laughs> his wife, his wife must be so ashamed of this idiotic clown. <laughs> Can you imagine having a, wife, a husband like this donkey? <laughs> My friend Utman <laughs> take home Utman and say, um, 
<laughs> boy, oh boy. Can you imagine your, your daughter married to a bastard like that? <laughs> man, that would be a disappointment, your daughter married to a bastard like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh father who art in heaven i pray to god that no one in my family encounter a bastard like <laughs> not the first time a muslim has stage eight crime of the public fame i would like to know the second muslim that done it my brother <laughs> who the suspect was a, a, a homeless man that he paid to be aggressive to <laughs> you know ut, ut, there's a lot of starving actors there's a lot of starving actors in in, in, in um california a lot of actors there there they, they want to be in in movies and they can't make it so you could go to a starving actor and said hey I, I have something for you to do i just want you to be aggressive to me while i'm coming out of my car i want you to say these words to me <laughs> <laughs> Catch up, boy. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful, beautiful religion. It's such a beautiful religion. Move forward, direct precision. Move away from this religion. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. From the art of Satan, Satan's creation. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. Shouldn't the police take the legal action against him for fake stabbing? They should. <laughs> they should. They should. Uh, um, um, what they call it? Something panic? Um, creating panic or something panic? Yeah, they, they could find a case against him if they want to. <laughs> they want to. If they want to, man, they could. <laughs> Do you see this donkey, man? So let's continue with the rest of the video, man. You know, because I see this and I said to myself, man, wow, this is beautiful, man. This is... <laughs> wow. And do you notice that the this is good report? Because anybody see Adam Sharkey, Lieutenant, public information officer san diego police everybody could do their own investigation to see if this is true even i could call and said may i speak to adam sharkey <laughs> yeah 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 i'm from the jamaica constabulary force <laughs> you know i guess i'm lying like Utman, so i'm gonna be like i'm from the jamaica constabulary force and i have an invest ongoing investigation that i need your assistance with he said, what can I do for you, Mr. Islam is a mess? I want to look into the case of Utman Ibn Fibin, footnote Farouk, versus the public. <laughs> Hamdullah, he's been arrested. Hamdullah, he's been arrested. <laughs> what a beauty. <laughs> Hamdullah, Hamdullah, chicken dollar. Pork, beef dilla, he's been arrested. Ham dilla, why you gotta be ham dilla and not chicken dilla or, 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 or such is dilla? I don't know. No arrests have been made, but ham dilla has been arrested. Do you see how ham dilla have something to do with Allah, right? So he's, he's actually calling his God name while he tell a lie. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. Stay far from this religion. Move away fast with precision. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. The religion of a madman. From the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> well, alhamdulillah. Uh, I mean, I had given the knife to the police. They had his fingerprints and all that. Yeah. All wow. Utman. Man. I don't know. What is going on with Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry don't see Utman. Of all these actors that that is, you know, upcoming. 
Why is it that he don't give Uthman a chance? This brother need a chance to be the best actor in Hollywood. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu to Allah. Obviously the video was there. And... Watch this now. There's just one problem. There is little, if any, evidence to indicate alleged Islamophobic aid crime against Uthman even took place. Wow. This is the police <laughs> report. <laughs> they need to go after his butt, man. Repeated inquiries to the San Diego police indicate that no report. Oh, this is the news media. <laughs> this is the new media. <laughs> no report about stabbing was ever filed and that no arrests have been made. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. Stay far away from this religion. Hurry up and make your decision. Move away, quick with precision. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. Mm -hmm. Don't keep pondering. Don't stay away in the valley of decision. You got to move, 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 and move, move, like you are a strong man or a strong woman. Move away from this tribulation, for one day this generation shall be in lamentation because of this religion. What a beautiful, beautiful religion. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful religion. You got to make your decision to stay far away from this religion. Stay far from Islam. Far away, far away, far away. As the east is from the west, you got to do your best before you be perplexed because this is a beautiful, beautiful religion. What a beautiful religion. That's back in the days when I was in the reggae music. And I used to write. <laughs> Look when we zoom in. I've known several people who have been stabbed. Ooh, I have blood in my belly. Mm -hmm. A pervert like R. Kelly caused me to have blood in my belly. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then it soaks their pants. Why? Because blood starts running down their body. Here we have no wound up top. We have a wound down at the bottom, and the blood somehow runs about eight inches up Sheikh Uthman's body. His blood. Wow. David Wood should have been a, 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 a forensic <laughs> investigator, man. This guy, <laughs> for real, when you listen to all what he's saying, it makes so much sense, man. Why is there blood spatter upward? You know, and why is it blood spatter in and why is there blood spatter even on the um the outside of his garment? Because when the knife is pulled out, where all does the where does the blood splatter go? Because the knife go through the garment to stab you. So when the knife is pulled out, there should be no blood splatter here. There should be no spatter here. <laughs> miraculously flowed against gravity. If you look at the picture, you see blood spatters off to the left of the wound. And uh, you see little specks of blood everywhere. The spatters, spatters come from outside blood. That does not come from soaking from inside a garment. Wow, David Wood, forensic specialist. Somebody need to employ this guy, man. Do you see where how can the spatter because the, the wound is under the garment so when the knife comes out the spatter should be eating the garment and the spatter should never be like this the spatter <laughs> should never be over here you could tell that somebody throw that on him his wife maybe said baby please baby please and don't tell me after I perform this skit, you're going to leave. I just want you to do this for me one time, please. Hey, 
Mix the ketchup and mix it up very thin. And I want you to pour this ketchup on my skin. <laughs> Sheikh Uthman was followed and the Sheikh was stabbed. Oh, wow. Donkey, you need a brain. Can we buy this guy a brain? What kind of brain do you think that this guy need? A sheep brain? No. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. A camel brain? Mm -mm. I, I, don't, I, what, what? I don't know. A bird's brain. <laughs> Where is the outrage? Wow. Hold on. He wants the outrage. Why does this clown want the outrage? Outrage. Why does he want the outrage when there is no crime case? <laughs> I haven't seen a single one of these, you know, big christian channels or oh wow do you see this stuff so if david wood because david wood has a big channel back in those days and there was sam shamon uh, uh christian prince you know if any one of these guys had decided oh we're gonna we're gonna talk about it and then they will look like clown at the end of the day right now they would just look like clowns like you guys look like clown why should we know that Uthman have been known as a liar and then endorse something. When I'm the boy cry wolf, the boy keep crying wolf and the people go to save him. And he cry wolf and there is no wolf. Four or five times he cry wolf, there is no wolf. Then finally when the wolf come, nobody went. <laughs> because what? Nothing Uthman say unless it, it can be proven immediately, then I would believe it. Nothing from this clown's mouth, I believe. And even you, nothing from your mouth, because people like you will be easy to be led astray. To, straight. You are gullible. All these dawa donkeys are gullible donkeys. Gullible donkeys, man. Easy to be led astray. After this, you know, every channel needs to, to make their own video, own thing on this. And let it be worldwide. Everybody need to do it. We see DCCI so far. We see we see Jai so far. And I know that um, God Logic. I'm sure <laughs> this will be funny. I, I know God Logic, man. This will be funny. I, I would like to be on the panel. <laughs> I would like to be on the panel when God Logic is doing 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 this because it would be it would be real entertaining, man. Personalities come out and condemn this and show support. Support for what? Do you think we look like clown? So this is a newspaper. Did a Muslim preacher in San Diego stage a hate crime against himself? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because his brain is so small, it's not big. His brain is so small, it's not big. He would be better if he eat some pig than to be put on this kit. Why can't he quit? His head is full of SHI. Stop it like that. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb you're gonna get caught i know you're that. gonna get caught i know we, we know we would have caught you you stupid donkey that you're a coward you're, you're a, a coward yes you are describe yourself again for us a coward yes what else about you you're a coward you say it again <laughs> what a donkey man i don't know why people do things like this you're right I don't know why you do it. Let me, let's, let the Bible tell you why you do it. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Proverbs 26, verse 26. <laughs> what a dumb donkey. Donkeys, we are watching you. I've, I've been telling you, we have been watching with binoculars. I don't know how people do things like this. I know. <laughs> Some of my people, 
my beautiful people, stay away from Islam and stay away from evil. My people, my beautiful people. <laughs> Is it me or Utman? <laughs> man, this is funny, man. I'm telling you, man, this is funny. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will reveal them, will put them their nose in poo poo. <laughs> Mess with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What this idiot? <laughs> what this idiot? Galloping donkey is here. Alonzo Harris is here. The Jews call Jesus a bastard. So what? <laughs> the Jews call, call Muhammad a false prophet. <laughs> so what? When you come and you make this kind of stuff, what, do, what does it mean? How, how does it affect us, man? No way at all. You guys follow a liar, a liar called Muhammad. And this is why, this is why you guys are falling into the trap. You guys are donkeys and liars. Stupid religion that you follow, you stupid goat. <laughs> man, wow. What, <laughs> what, what a religion, man. What a religion. And then say, hey, be a part of this. Who would want to be a part of this? <laughs> What's the cause? His PR agents fail him with his ridiculous speech. <laughs> Hootman, Hootman Ibn Farouk is a liar. But that's the one Alonzo admire. Burning like his prophet in the fire. Hootman Ibn Farouk is a liar. He's a liar. And when the fire leaping higher like a yellow camel. You know the Quran said the fire leap like a yellow camel. He's going to leap with... <laughs> He's going to leap with Uthman Ibn Farouk and this idiot um, Alonzo Aris. <laughs> then this donkey come here talking about worshipping a man. Even after I show this idiotic clown that they all, their God is a man. They got, your God is a man, you dumb donkey. Didn't you know that your God was a man? <laughs> How many times I must show you that your God is a man? You, Alonzo Aris, dumb, dumb Muslim. How many times I have to show you that your God is a man? Muhammad says, don't confuse the Dijal for your God. If your God was not a man, how can your God be confused for the Dijal who is a man? And then Muhammad says, don't eat your brother in the face because... Allah create the son of Adam in the image of the most merciful. So your God is a man, you dumb clown. <laughs> and if your God wasn't a man, why would he say, how can I have a son when I have no wife? Only a man think like that. God is self-sufficient. God doesn't need a wife to do anything. But your God need a wife to have a son. That means your God has a uh, penis just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> your God is just like I do. Yeah, but your God cannot walk in my shoe. No. Your God is a God just like I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a God logic should come here. Oh, man. I would like to be on God logic panel when he is uh, dealing with this, man. I would have fun there, man. <laughs> so did Utman squeeze the ketchup three times? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I think his wife did it for him, man. Oh, boy. Islam is built on lies. Resist the lie. Resist the lie. Resist the lie. Resist the lie. Or else in the fire will we hear your cry, will we hear your cry, will we hear your cry. And when you die, it will be goodbye if you don't resist the lie. Yes, you know, permanent goodbye if you don't resist the lie. 
Our God is a spirit, not a shin with two right hands. So, you know, Muhammad God, Muhammad God is actually a defective man. <laughs> two right hand is <laughs> is a, a handicapped man <laughs> with a big shin. His shin is like bigger than the soccer player, you know. <laughs> Need a shin guard like a soccer player. <laughs> I would like to play soccer with Allah. <laughs> Man, to see what kind of shin he got. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, Dawa donkeys failed to build a, a, a fake police case. <laughs> Couldn't build it. He, he, he make a mistake, man. <laughs> and he was, notice he didn't talk about it. He stopped talking about it because he realized what kind of dilemma he created for himself. <laughs> I said, outrage, subliminal. What about when it was Atun being stabbed by a coward? See, Atun stabbing, you could see that it was a real stabbing. But this clown stabbing, <laughs> you know it's not real, man. You know it's not real. Oh, hold on, my people. I'm gonna give you Jai apologetics. Um uh so that you guys could subscribe to the brother's channel because this brother, man, you know, is God given to us, man. I'm you know, I want you guys, please, man, subscribe to this brother's channel because he's God given to us. And, and the, if you guys look at his content. His content are the best content, man. I'm telling you. Just check him out, man. And subscribe to his channel. It's, I give you the link in the chat. Please subscribe to this brother channel. Please. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. Subscribe to the brother channel. Um, let me put it on the screen so you guys could see. As so you guys could see it. I'm go to and read the comments because the comments are beautiful. So um, this is the brother's channel and i also have another channel if you guys want to subscribe to my other channel there is my other channel called islam is a mess you know so the, this is just the name but this is jai's channel the the um link is jai's channel go over subscribe to the brother channel and you know show him some love because this guy is a revealer of hypocrites <laughs> <laughs> so let me go to oh okay you subscribe good man thank you for subscribing anybody who subscribed to this brother channel we have 53 people watching can the 53 people subscribe to this brother's channel please man i appreciate it man this guy is revealing a lot of things his content are so deep you know he he's not as funny as i am and i don't know if he's he's as ugly as i am but go over there, man, and, and subscribe to this brother's channel. I'm ugly, but I'm beautiful on the inside, man. I'm telling you. I don't care about my ugliness. Yeah. I just don't want to be no liar. Mm -hmm. I don't care about my ugliness. I don't want to burn with Ibn in the fire. I don't want to burn with Mohammed. I mean, I go put Mohammed in my head. No. And Satan me not gonna make you no bed. No, no, no. Satan won't sleep in my head. No. Mohammed say, Satan sleep in the Muslim nose. And he too have semen on his clothes. <laughs> hey, don't listen to that, man. That, that's, that's off the top of the dome. Anyway, <laughs> do you see the craziness, man? The craziness of this religion. And let me show you something, guys. I'm going to share something with you guys. Um, oh, we know, we all know the guy, Jordan Peterson. We all know who this uh, uh, Jordan Peterson is. We all know who he is. And we know that this man is, it seems like he's seeking, he's trying to find um, some form of godliness in some way but i think this guy is so into himself that he's looking in the wrong direction and because of that the muslims are targeting him we see where 
Mohamed Ijab have a late uh, interview or a talk with him. And Mohamed Ijab, I'm going to show you, share this with you right here. Where you're going to see where Mohamed Ijab actually have two videos. And let's show you what the videos of Mohamed Ijab says. We're not, we're not going to open them since, in a, but we're just going to show you what they say. Yeah. So right here, what you see, Dr. Jordan Peterson question and message to Muslim. And then you have Dr. Jordan Peterson invited to be a Muslim. So the last time this clown have a, a, a dialogue with Jordan Peterson, it didn't go good. But the clown went on the three Muslims. There's this uh, group of Muslims, three of them, called the three Muslims. I call them the three stooges. And he make this claim that Jordan is going to accept Islam. He actually say, I believe this is a religion for him. But then Jordan P Peterson come out and and make this thing called message to Muslim, where he actually is telling them to deny their God. <laughs> Literally, he's actually telling them the only way they're going to get things right is to get rid of their God. Literally, that's what he was telling them. But here, Mohammed Ijab won't give up. Give up. He invite this man, invited to be a Muslim. <laughs> So he invite the brother <laughs> to come out and be a Muslim. And then this time he go with this. I think I, I think this is the idiot from Smile to Jan. Jan. I, 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 <laughs> I think that is him. What would Jordan Peterson, a man that, you know, is even though he, he is weird, but he's not stupid. Would he want to be a part of this stupid religion? This lying, stupid, donkish, cultish, nastyish <laughs> religion. Would he want to be a part of this? Why, why would he want to be a part of this? And then if you look at what he says, Jordan Peterson invited to be a Muslim. If you go to Jordan Peterson... Um, If you go to Jordan Peterson site, it is totally different what you see there, D A N. You will see a different approach because Jordi is not buying in their stupidity. Look, look what you, you, you have there. Talking to Muslim about Christ. <laughs> Do you see? He 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 ain't into their stuff. <laughs> He's not into their stuff. Reacting to Jordan Peterson Dawa video. <laughs> so they dawa into him. They are so much wanting to convert. Look, look, look at this. This is the one. Look at this. Jordan Peterson says this is. This to Muhammad Ijab and converting to Islam. 15 hours ago. <laughs> that man ain't gonna convert to Islam. Look, if you put this in here, and you put the three, uh no three with uh, this the three uh, the three Muslims. Look at this. Look what comes up. Look what comes up. Jordan Peter say, say this to, so that's it. The three Muslims I was telling you about. But watch this. Talking to Muslim about Christ. Watch this. Watch this right here. At Mohammed Ijab and Growth Success Fatherhood and Jordan Peter thing podcast. If you watch this, if you watch this, literally in this video here, the Muslims, the Muhammad Ijab told them, a matter of fact, let's go there. <laughs> I'm here in Noshere where thousands of families have been impacted by the deadly flooding. 
as you can see Let's when we were there like ali remembers um it was it was a vibe i almost feel like and i know this might sound uh sacrilegious but i almost feel like the angels were there with me on that day i do feel like there was something <laughs> falling angels <laughs> yeah they were there falling angels were there with you just like the one that beat up mohammed in the cave been going on on that day that something happened <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that song? How are you doing today? Not bad, alhamdulillah. Not bad at all. How are you guys doing? Alhamdulillah. 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 SubhanAllah. So um, we don't have too long, so we're going to start this off with a bang. Inshallah, we're going to do a quick fire Q&A. Yeah, let's make it happen, man. We're going to back up making some, some negative externalities, some noise pollution, some problems, some extraneous variables, some issues. Uh, it's the one and only... Uh, Champ and uh, and his friend, but uh, sorry if there's any if, if there's any like uh, noise in the background. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm the sorry, no guys, no. All right, let's get on with this. So, is money more important or fame? Depends on what the objective is, really. I mean, if, if we've got to think about what the objective is. Mm. All right, who's a better cook, your wife or your mom? Mama, no doubt about it. Undisputed, undefeated. Oof. All right. Yeah complete uh, my phd i want to um also oh wow um that's in terms so i've got i i divide is in regards to not so much your specific academic career and the phd you're pursuing but more generally what do you think the benefit is in pursuing the these these credentials do you think that the knowledge is what's essential do you think having the credentials is really important to establish that kind of authority i think I, so if I, anyway, just know what you what's coming into your body, what's coming into your soul, what's coming, what you are consuming, and what you are outputting, and hold yourself to account on that basis. I think oh, wow. there's another thing too. It's it's the perseverance aspect too. Like we're more willing to stick through with things that we set out. Is, what are some things that you see men lack like today? Oh, they, I think they take. It I out. saw like well in, in the Muslim community. <laughs> they in, must in have the taken West, it out. We have to be more specific. Uh, Muslim men in the West or where? What country? In what? In what yeah, province? Muslim Muslim in the West. Right. So I I think that you know, obviously there are issues to do with Westernization. And there's issues to do with the ideological subversion that's oh, happened wow. and takeover and uh, don't you sound like you know, um, Jesse kind of Jackson? Thing. Especially in America, unfortunately, I've been to. He sound like Jesse Jackson, man, with all those big words. Remember, Jesse Jackson used to speak and can't speak with a, a regular um, vocabulary that people can understand easily. All these big words he use. But I remember in this podcast, I think they may have taken it out. They may have cut it out. Yep. It don't look like it's there. I think they cut it out because <laughs> he actually predict that Jada Peterson need this in his life, man. Need Islam in his life. But where is it? I don't see it nowhere. <laughs> he actually say Jada Peterson need Islam in his life. He says, I, I know this is what he need in his life. I'm like, wow, dude. Or oh, a matter of fact, an easy way to find it. This is what I should have done. I S L A M. And uh, uh Jared Peterson. P E T E R S O N. Okay. So let's see. Right here. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> here it is right here. So let me show you guys this. It should be easy to find right here. It should be easy to find what is going on. What is going on? Something is going on. It must be a genie. A gin, a gin is messing with the internet. A gin is messing with my internet. 
Hey, people, a gin is messing with my internet, man. So forgive, <laughs> forgive me for that, man. A gin is messing with my internet. I'm trying my best, but a gin keep messing with my internet. Wow. Nothing never happened to my internet till a gin come messing with my internet. Yes, a gin come messing with my internet. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. <laughs> they send their gin to mess with my internet. I, I don't know what's going on. They send their gin to mess with my internet. The gin keep messing with my internet. I'm trying my best, but the gin keep messing with my internet. Come on, gin. Leave my internet alone. <laughs> Mohammed sent one of his um, convert. Converted Muslim jinn. <laughs> One of the Muslim jinn messing with the internet. Okay, let's refresh and see what happened. Let's refresh. There we go. Yes, my people. All right, I am live again. Here we go. particular part of the video where Muhammad Ijab was reciting the Quran go viral. That's the part of it that is the most comical because at the end of the, 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 uh, the recitation, Jordan Peterson actually says, why did you do that? <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> what was the purpose of that? And we read what Paul says, uh, if, if a person speak in an unknown tongue, you speak in an unknown tongue, Someone who, who is unlearned will see you as a barbarian. So what was the purpose of you reciting the Quran in, in Arabic that Jordan Peterson does not understand? What was the purpose of that? Like you, the thing about these Muslims, they believe that the Quran is so convincing that if they sing it to you, I remember this, uh, uh, a guy sing the Quran to me. He actually sent me a website and said, listen to this and tell me if it doesn't Hold on, affect guys. Let's get to it. I've spoken to the man ever since. <laughs> but he, they're making claim that this man will become a Muslim. This is how confident these idiots are in their stupid dawah. Because they can affect people who don't know about their religion. What do you think that a, a, a man like Jordan Peterson, who is an uh, um, intellect, should do? After um, listening to, to Muhammad Ijab's stupidity. Research for yourself. Research for yourself. There is many, many, many YouTube channels who out here who give you the other side of Islam. The Polish okay. uh, 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 painted, uh, um, uh, as I say, white white. Here we go. It should be you the truth about Islam. She's humbly showing you the truth about Islam. The, the, uh, um, and nothing that she says during the podcast, Mohammed Ijab go into her book, which we don't have available, start quoting stuff from her book, are, are, are saying that this is what she say. We, we don't have the book available to say that. We, we weren't here to uh, a book club to scrutinize her book. What we were there for is what she was. Oh, long people. I just want you guys to see where he says that this man will is tired. He's tired for his video. Accept. Jordan Peterson shocks the world. <laughs> so this idiot have a video. This guy. So this idiot have a video that says Jordan Peterson shocked the world. And actually, he's actually. Trying to tell people that Jordan Peterson is going to convert to becoming a Muslim. This is what this clown, this clown here, this fake Muslim right here. This is what his idea were. Guy is the devil and a liar. This black guy is the devil and a liar. I'm ashamed to be black because of him. <laughs> to be real with you. <laughs> you know, I see him make a, vid a video about Putin and Christianity and... I just people want, like I just want to get it. Okay. Are people like Putin? I just want to get into the part 
where Putin uh, is a liar and this idiot is a liar. Putin it, it calls the uh, president of, of Ukraine uh, a, a Nazi when the man is a Jew. <laughs> this is, and, and, and look at this idiot. Look at this idiot. Jordan Peterson shocks the world. How, how did this man shock the world? What did this man do that shocked the world? And then, if you listen to this idiot, you will actually hear when he says, Jordan Peterson, um, listen to what he says. Let's see if we can find it back. Even Islam, to, I think that really Islam is starting to make sense. Yeah, having a, a filler just recently that he plans to revert to Islam publicly. Let's watch this video. I'll be right back. <laughs> so Muhammad <laughs> Ijab give this idiot, from what Muhammad Ijab say, this idiot believes that Jad Peterson is going to revert to, to, um, to Islam. So uh, a good way to uh, find that video, actually, is to go to this idiot's channel. Uh, so this idiot is called um, Open Minded, and just put Jordan Peterson, O P E N M I N D E D, Thinker, T H I N K E R S H O W P E T E R S O N. My typing skill is very bad. So let's. Here he is again. Jordan Peterson makes another shocking remarks. Do you? <laughs> Do you ever notice this idiotic clown? How he always have these <laughs> catchy. <laughs> let, let's find it. He got these catchy little thing. So let's put Peterson in here. When I saw the title of this video, whatever. When I saw you, I I was disgusted. P E T E R S O N. Let me find it here. I think we can find it here. Sorry. Okay. So this is the one where he say I make another. Uh, no, that's not it. He might have deleted that, that video because <laughs> I think he deleted that video, man. He delete. I think he did. He deleted that video. <laughs> The clown delete the video because where is that video? Uh, Peterson shocks. S-H-O-C-K. Is it shocks or shocked? I don't know. Peterson. Let me see what comes up. I think he deleted the video because he, he realized that the video was stupid because I'm not seeing it here. I'm not seeing it here. This is supposed to be the fastest growing channel on YouTube, man. I'm telling you. I remember when that guy got like about 18... Thousand subscriber. Yeah, I think he deleted. I think he deleted that video. But Jordan Peterson shot the world. But in the video, Mohammed Ijab says he think that's uh, what Jordan Peterson need in his life is Islam. Jordan Peterson need Islam in his life. Um, and the guy made a video about it. So he said Jordan Peterson shot the world. Cannot find it. Sorry, people. But 
Muhammad Ijab has been trying so hard to, to get this guy to convert to his stupid religion, but cannot. But anyway, my people, I just want you to see Ibn Footnote Farouk. That's that's what I really wanted to see. But, you know, I, I wanted to see you guys to see where Muhammad Ijab make a prediction that Jordan Peterson um, is going to be a, a Muslim. And the the um, even now, <laughs> he's still not. <laughs> <laughs> I would I believe that John Peterson would be an idiot to become a Muslim, really and truly. So um, I'm gonna say peace out right here, and I'll praise this to the triune God, the God who is above all gods, the God who give us wisdom to decipher things and to make sense of sensible things and to make nonsense of things that are nonsense, and Islam is nothing but nonsense. And I want you guys to come and join me later, man. About two, what time is it? It's gonna be two uh two something. Where I actually, um, we, um, we go into the Bible a little bit and we reveal um, another Muslim hater, and then um, we show where um, a Christian brother um, answered the question of a, Mo a Muslim, um, a female Muslim. That's just uh, we have like. Uh, three things to show you guys, important things to show you guys, and we are going to get into it. And and then tomorrow we have we go deep into the Quran. Yeah, we we have about four or five verses from the Quran to look into, and we compare them with the Adit, and we'll see how the deception of Muhammad. So that will be tomorrow. So guys, come out and thank you guys for coming out and listening to me. I appreciate you guys and God bless you guys. And thank you guys for subscribing to Jai's channel because I believe the brother deserve more attention. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys who subscribe to my channels. I appreciate you guys and God bless you guys, man. And remember, today um, is the 19th of the 10th, which is the 19th of October. You're walking out there, keep it 100% Jesus, and you'll be safe. You know, whether you live or die, you'll be safe. You keep it 100% Jesus, whether you live or die, you'll be safe. So keep it Jesus. Stay away from lies. Stay away from Islam. Because Islam is a beautiful, beautiful religion. A religion of hatred and deception. <laughs> anyway, my people, God bless you.